hello good morning welcome welcome back every time you return an angel gets its wings <laughs> what's up welcome back to a new vlog i have store stuff to do today which is always exciting because i'm going to be putting all of the new stuff that i just got in my thrift haul video that just went up all of that stuff is going to be going in store going to get photographed uploaded to the website and put out for sale so that's always an exciting day i don't know what to call this day but it's an exciting one when it happens in store because it's just it's like sharing my treasures with people and then they get to have the treasures or buy the treasures i don't know it's just uh it's it's a really fun way to be a little bit more interactive with um everyone so got that going on today and then tomorrow i actually have i'm going to be teaching a friend of mine how to edit videos um so she's she's yeah hired me to give her a little training class and it's gonna be fun i mean i love i love youtube and making videos and i want everyone i know to do it too because it's so fun i don't know what you know other people are thinking the reason that i do it is but i purely do it because it's so fun for me and yeah gosh it'd be really cool if it was like more of a job job because i just really enjoy it but maybe i would stop enjoying it if it became like <laughs> more of a like i have to do it thing because right now it's at my leisure um but anyway um i'm going to go i'm going to gather my shit and get going i am feeling really cute my hair is cooperating today look how bouncy and healthy it is <laughs> that's natural you guys i do have my lilac street lashes on their way they should actually be delivered today or tomorrow because i miss them and i am having a heck of a time with rubbing my eyes because of the mascara i'm i'm realizing that i just don't like mascara for a few reasons and one of them is i don't like having to like rub my eyes really hard at the end of the day to get the mascara off but i can't have mascara that comes off too easily because if it does i wear really hydrating products and it will stamp all over my eyes so i just want my lilac street lashes back uh, it's been like two weeks that i've gone without them I miss them so let's get going I'm gonna stop I'm gonna get up I gotta go turn the coffee maker off I'm done with coffee for the day <laughs> I think I've had enough here's the outfit of the day a little paper bag waist jean pair of shorts uh, a really lightweight long sleeve top and my white sneakers Gucci belt can't tell if this looks like a big diaper or not <laughs> do it just look like I'm wearing a big jean diaper kinda it's the only thing about paper bag waist shorts. They go diaper on you real quick. Oh yes, I'm getting a red light. We're coming up on a car that my husband and I saw the other day and he was like, Sienna, that's, that's you. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at that thing. So it's for sale. It's a Land Rover from like the early 2000s and it's for sale and I, really need to be able to haul more things around including like stuff for our house stuff for the store it would just make things so much easier for me if i had a car that was bigger and my car is just so compact it's a volkswagen new beetle it's the new new beetle which is a beautiful car it's a 2012 and it's like all updated and really great so it would be a downgrade as far as like technology is concerned but it's a gold Land Rover it's so beautiful I really just want to text them and just be like how much just out of curiosity I don't know if I can do it I think I owe more on this car than it would be like I wouldn't like break even or any of that I don't know actually so it's something I should explore because could you imagine oh my god it's like my dream it's like my dream that I've been standing in front of the fan and you can just hear whoa, 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 whoa. it's like blowing the microphone um, but I just wanted to say what I was doing because actually when I went thrifting this past week I did find this frame and it looks so good oh that looks so much better yes 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 yes, yes. I still need to tuft the back of this Well, I'm 
I'm an idiot. I didn't have an advance. This is gonna be an issue. I everything has been tagged and priced, and I wrote down everything that I'm gonna be adding to the website. Photographed, steamed. Don't have hangers. <laughs> I'm completely out of hangers. Well, wow. It's my Dyson knockoff. <laughs> it's pink! Because the one that I've been using, I've had for, oh my God, I think I got that like nine years ago. <laughs> uh, look, it looks almost like a Dyson. It's shaped like a Dyson. It doesn't have the same back, but cool. Ooh, it's like velvety. What was that? What fell? Oh no. What was a bean? Oh, I see. <laughs> Spaceship. I know, it's very funny sounds. Very funny sounds. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> it's a party. But right now, I have to get my stuff together. I'm gonna head out. I'm going, it's nine o'clock in the morning. Well, it's 9.30 in the morning. I'm gonna go teach a video editing class to one person. I'm teaching someone how to do the basics of just Final Cut and YouTube and Reels and all of that. And not that I'm the expert, but I know how to do it. And I know how to get it done. Wow, look at that. That mural is so cool. Okay, that was lovely um, and really fun. I, I really do enjoy teaching. I don't know if I'm good at it, but I do enjoy teaching people how to do things that I have passion about and enjoy as well, which is obviously making YouTube videos and makeup stuff. Those are my two favorite things to teach. <laughs> so that was really fun. Um, now I'm going to, why do I look sunburned? <laughs> I'm on the fence on whether or not I want to go Levi jean hunting. I'm kind of into this thing right now where I really want to hunt down some Levi's. I think I might do that. Okay, I'm here. I am at the Goodwill and it's my, this is my go-to spot, but I just want Levi's, so pray for me. I'm gonna check the men's section too, not just the women. I found a biggie! Do you know what that means? I found a big E. I did not think that I would. I was like, I've never done this before. I've never searched specifically for vintage Levi jeans at a Goodwill. They probably already know the rules. They probably already know what the value is and therefore it's gonna be marked up or put in their specialty stores. But I went through every single pair of jeans in that entire thrift store and I found a big E. One big E. And I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they'll fit me, but regardless, they're vintage. Well, I think, so here's the thing. I feel like you can feel if something is vintage or not, and they don't feel vintage. So now I'm all concerned, like, what's the deal? Are these fake? Like, what's up? But they have the Levi's logo, and this is like actual leather, which is like something you don't feel often on Levi's. And then if you look here, see how this is made with actual leather, the label, it's really soft. It's almost paper. Actually, it feels like paper, which is wild. Um, and then here, the E on the Levi's logo is capital, which means that these were made or manufactured before the 70s. This is a lowercase E, which would make these post 70s. I don't know what era these are, but I got them anyway because these seem like these would fit me more and I wanna do a like post with the Levi pants on. But I wanna do some more research because the jean itself doesn't, this feels like vintage Levi, this does not. It's really soft and it's almost kind of stretchy, which I didn't realize Levi, even in the 70s, would have material that stretchy. And they don't look, style-wise, they don't even look 
they don't look vintage. So I don't know, I don't know. I have to do some research. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm so fucking excited cause they fit my body. The vintage Levi's freaking fit and they're really cute. They look really cute rolled up at the bottom. Look at that Levi ass. Something about Levi butts, man. They're just so good. <laughs> what are the odds that I'm gonna find two pairs of Levi's that actually fit my body without trying them on first at a thrift store? I don't know, I, I thought I was a high-waisted kind of gal, but these are just really, they're really nice. They like remind me of the boyfriend jeans, you know? They're not mom jeans, that's for sure. Here's the butt. And I found both of these pairs of jeans in the uh, men's section. Okay, the jeans are in the dryer. The blog post is about to be written and I just had this wild hair that I wanna touch up my roots. Now that the extensions aren't in my hair and I'm gonna be like kind of mostly home this weekend except for a few hours at a time, I just am trying to give myself things that I can do to be useful. Why am I telling you this? I don't know. Well, looky who's arrived. <laughs> we know that face, don't we? Yes, we do in this one. Oh. <laughs> Their giant kennels are back. <laughs> we don't mind. We don't mind. That's where you sleep. Um, good morning. The tanner on and it looks like it grabbed right here, which is always fun. I love a tan mustache. Tina, can you please come down the stairs and join the rest of us, please? Come on. Come on. Come on. Are you hungry? That's what I thought. I was gonna come out and do a little check to see if they are ready to be pulled, because if they are, where can I set this? Right here. That's risky. Okay, if they're ready, I'm going to be giving my petals to West Coast Willow Skincare, my skincare gal who makes my candles, and she's going to use the petals in the candles and in her skincare. So I'm gonna like save them to donate to her. These aren't ready. None of them are coming off. So I'll wait till they're ready to go and pull them. But look, all these guys are gonna be coming in soon. Happy, happy plant. I don't know why though, this one section doesn't grow. I need to Google perhaps like what the issue might be with that side. Cause this side just does not do anything. It's kind of weird. And then there were six. We got little Peanut. Well, not so little. Peanut, you have gained some weight. I feel you, sir. I feel you. I feel you, huh? And this is Tony. This is Tony. He's 16 almost. And he's 14, I think. Um, but yeah, they have to wear the belly bands because obviously at their age, they just, they can't hold their tinkle. I don't tinky toe. And then this little one, he's only two, but he loves to mark, so. <laughs> Meanwhile, your potato body, your potato body. I love your potato body. It is the cutest thing. I like how my own dogs are in here and could care less about me. They're in there. We're getting there. Good morning. Ooh, it is my favorite kind of day. Cause it's raining and it's gloomy. You hate me. You hate me for saying that. I get it. I got it. I love me a rainy day. It makes me happy. 
I don't know why I'm like this. It's so weird. When I first moved to the Pacific Northwest, I've said this a million times, but I thought I was going to move to California and that I was just here for a moment and that I was going to move on. And lo and behold, I fall in love with the Pacific Northwest and its moody weather and I start to adapt. And now I'm officially a sea monster. <laughs> it, um, tried to get ready as quickly as I possibly could. So that's the other glorious thing about having my lashes back is that it takes me about half the time to get ready because usually I put on about 50 coats of mascara and now I don't have to do that anymore. Here's what I have on the Prism lashes in 14 millimeter and I always have one left over and you guys know the deal. I order four at a time and then at the end of it, I can make a fifth lash. So this four boxes gets me five lashes total. I know a lot of people stack their lashes, mix and match their lashes, get all tricky with them. I don't do that. I just keep it simple. I can't be bothered to do any of that stuff, but maybe one day I will. I don't know. I just like simplified, toss them on. And then on my lower lash, I do Lash Princess because it's got a nice skinny brush and it's thick so it can balance the thickness and the length of the upper lash. Um, so this is just a simple, easy way to get ready. And then I'm back to quickly popping on some sort of like cream-based eyeshadow on my lid and rub it in with my fingers. I can get ready in five minutes. I can't believe it's July and it's cold enough to have on a cardigan, but I'm, I'm for it. I'll also link it below, but I did a blog post about the Big E all the links that I found to more information about it, the Levi's website information about it, all that. So it'll give you more information. <laughs> He's the loudest drinker in the world. <laughs> um, if you want more information about it, it's all there on that blog. And plus just go read it because it's fun. And I insert a lot of my humor and personality into it and I work on it. So it's nice if people are actually enjoying it. We're gonna go thrifting. I'm gonna pop off over, I'm gonna pop off. I'm gonna just glance at the value village just to see because now that i'm on this new thing i have no idea what value village's jeans section looks like and i'm very curious You village look at what we've got here I got pants a woman in pants ghostly this whole thing has started a conversation with my friend who I used to go um, if you read the blog I used to go thrifting with her in Georgetown in DC and we went to this place that specifically carried old Levi's it was just a store dedicated to Levi's and it always had the coolest stuff like a mecca of vintage 50s 40s even like any kind of Levi you can ever imagine and it was always our favorite place to go so any anytime we would go to Georgetown for our shopping excursions we would pop into the Levi store I think it was called Lucky 7 I texted her yesterday and I was like what was that place called and she said I'm getting seven seven I'm like seven me too Lucky 7 I think it was called Lucky 7 anyway um she reminded me that she got a pair of corduroys, Levi corduroys, and I was like, I knew, I knew I got a pair of corduroys there as well, because I was trying to remember what pants I got from there. They were amazing. I had a pair of orange cordu corduroy pants that I got from there and a pair of authentic bell bottoms Levi's, and I wore the crap out of those pants. <laughs> Does this sound right? But anyway, I just didn't think I was gonna score any corduroys, but I did. I got some freaking corduroys. Now, if these don't fit me, obviously they're going in the store, but if they fit me, I am so sorry. I am on the hunt for some Levi corduroys. Um, and they're like charcoal gray. What an amazing color. I don't think, I don't think they're gonna fit me. So I saw all sorts of kinds of, um, jeans there but I'll tell you when we get home which ones I ended up getting so excited <laughs> try them on if I can <laughs> and I'm gonna go to the store now and grab the two pair that I do have so I can photograph them and properly get them on the website let's get going on to the next errand Land Rover 
over Discovery 2, which is like the coolest looking fucking car. Got in contact, I was supposed to test drive it today, but the problem with it is that there's a lot wrong with it. And my dad used to be a mechanic and I sent him the inspection report that she went ahead and got, sent it to my dad, he's like, this is gonna be your worst nightmare. It's gonna continuously have problems. Land Rovers are really expensive to fix. The parts are really expensive and it's gonna be like top dollar to even repair anything that you need to get done. It's basically gonna be a car suited for a mechanic. These buddies. These buddies. I started daydreaming a little bit about expanding already. <laughs> I mean, I'm not there yet, but I just started daydreaming about like going bigger and being like in a different part of um, Tacoma. Cause there's this one area that I'm like daydreaming about. There's never open spaces, but gosh, it'd be cool. So one day, gotta start working on that manifestation. Oh, with Tony. Hi, Peanut. Sorry, we woke you up. Ah, let's go outside. I was not gone that long. It was not that long. Okay, ready, go. Jeez Louise. Okay, so I'm gonna actually, just cause I have so many doggos and I was just gone for so long, I'm gonna try on the jeans down here and we're gonna talk through them in the mirror with all the dog crates and the dogs walking around and that's just gonna have to be what it is. Can't button these, but you get the gist. Okay, they're on. <laughs> Not buttoned, but they're on. So they're button fly. These are distressed 501s. I love how like men's jeans, like boyfriend fit style they are. Bonus in the back, because at first I thought this was like dip. Like this was like from someone having dip in their back pocket for so long, which would have been a total rad bonus to have on a pair of like boyfriend cut men's 501 Levi's jeans. But it looks almost like it was a wallet, which is just as good. Um, it almost makes you wanna just buy 501s, pay a man to walk around in them for a year and then sell them for the value of, priceless value that they are after that. <laughs> Be like, put everything in your pockets and make sure you sit on them a lot. <laughs> So anyway, these are the 501s that will be for sale in the store and lucky you if they fit you because I'm still on the search for a pair of 501s, which I did find today. So we have these ones that I just got today at Value Village. Well, <laughs> these are baggy. Do I like that? Um, these are too big for me. These guys, they do nothing for my butt unless I pull them all the way up here and then I've got quite a bit of room. If any of you are wondering, not one pair that I got today were vintage, unfortunately. Uh, the only pair that I found were the ones that I'm still questioning if they are or not. The corduroy fit, the corduroy fit. I got a stinking pair of Levi's corduroy fit. Ow! <laughs> Little, little, really low cut. I mean, the crotch could not be smaller. <laughs> like, look, like the space between the, the middle and the zipper under the button is like this big. Man, did low, low rise was like no joke. They were just ripping us off. Look at all that material that they didn't have to finish the pants with. This muffins me big time. Oh my God, the muffin. But yeah, oh, they're so good, look. I'm gonna think about this because they fit me, but they muffin. Maybe I'll return those vegan cupcakes. I can have one a week. Back off. No. <laughs> they don't fit me. <laughs> Someone else is gonna be stoked. Oh, and they're so good. 
oh the cut and everything and they're actually like higher up in the waist but I can't get them to button <sighs> otherwise they fit really good see this is the thing that I'm having with these pants I really like the way they fit in the back there's just something about the cut of Levi pants in general that just fit the back really good and I love this like classic logo and the red tab they just make your butt look so good I mean even though I can't button it the back and the leg and everything else fits really good it's just the front part I can't get to button so boo these actually do fit earlier I was like I'm, I'm getting rid of them because I was basically more concerned about the fact that I had like none in my store and was wanting to make this whole like Levi section on my website um, I keep seeing like bronzer shadow I really like the fit of these actually so I might keep them we have got a pair of 501s in a 36 width and a length of 30, and they are in this light washed jean. They are not, none of these are vintage. Haven't found a pair yet to sell. Those are fabulous, fabulous. And then here's the funny thing. These are 36s, didn't fit me, couldn't button them. These are 34s, could fit me, button them fine. So what's up with that? This is where it's a little confusing as to like what, will fit you, but these do have a little bit more of elasticity, and these 501s don't have too much stretch to them. They've got that like more stiff denim feel to them that Levi's tend to have. But then we also have another pair of 501s in, I would say, a double XL. These are the width 40, and, oh, it says <laughs> two Xs. Um, 40 in width, a length in 36, so if you're a little bit on the taller side and, um, or something that could be really fun is turning these into shorts. Um, that's always a fun option with those ones that are just a little bit too long. The black corduroys in the width of 34, the length of a 32, they're the 514 style, which I um, have been finding is really easy to come by, but I can't decide if I'm going to sell these yet, so let me wash them. These two are grunting. Um, gonna have to wash them and, and just try them on with an outfit and see how I feel about them, but I am kind of in love with them and I'm looking for some corduroys. Plus, I have the one pair of the Big E Levi's, the vintage ones that I found that I'm keeping for myself. Two to three for myself and four for the store. I'm trying to keep the ratio that the store gets more than I do. Um, another pair of 501s, these are in the width 34, the length 30. Again, these almost fit me. These are 34s, exact same size almost, but just couldn't button them. So, very sad. See, I'm gonna just keep these separate because these have already been washed because they have the tag on them from the store. Same as these, and these are the 514s and the width of 31 and the length of 32. So. I'm gonna have all of these up on the website. If any of you are interested in buying some Levi's and have enjoyed this Levi, very Levi themed vlog, weekend vlog, then um, shop away. And if not, go read my blog, get some advice on how to find your own, and hopefully you're out there treasure hunting for the big E. <laughs> Let me know if you find one. If you do, you got to send me a photo on Instagram please DM it to me. I want to see what you found. Um, I'm obsessed with vintage Levi's right now. So, um, and I'm really obsessed with the thrill of the hunt. So I'm not really interested in buying any Levi's off of like someone who's already found the treasure and has it marked up. I am the one who wants to do the digging and the finding and then that way other people don't have to. So not as interested in shopping for them unless maybe I will maybe down the road I'm gonna just be like I need this exact pair from this exact year with this label that might be the extent of how obsessed I become over <laughs> just old school Levi's jeans but anyway that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up please subscribe if you're not I would really appreciate that it helps me out trying to upload at least Thursday, Sunday, and Monday. Th Thursday and then Sunday or Monday. It's kind of the schedule, but I can't do a schedule. Life is crazy. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video, whatever it is, and uh, bye-bye.